What's up, humans? It's the end of the year, and it's time for everybody to start posting their top this, top that, top, you know? So I figured I'd post my top 10 books of 2021, starting with The Complete Riley, A Teenage Bigfoot. It's by Jeffrey Manley. This is the <clears throat> combination of 200 comic strips and I don't even know how to describe how funny this fucking comic is. It is 100% pure inspiration for me wanting to do my comic, Squatching Fu, as a comic strip. It's just, oh man, it, I absolutely love this book. And I have every copy and he's working on more and I highly suggest you look him up manly cartoon artist on Instagram and get yourself a copy might as well get this because it has all the, from the, the very first one up in here and then you can just catch up with the newer ones but yeah this one highly recommend and with that we move on to Walking Dead Deluxe 19 out there so you can see it a little better but I believe this is the Tedesco or T Tesco I don't, know, I don't know how to say his name but this variant this is issue 19 this is the first appearance of Michonne and oh man this cover is just sick I absolutely love it I love the style it's just I don't even know how to, the, the dude killed it absolutely killed it with this cover this is my favorite of all the deluxe covers i've seen so far it's just fire fire all right moving on to the next one dynamite reissued the boys number one and put it under their label in which it started out as wildstar but then they also had a nice little Kickstarter where you could get the Virgin variant. And that is just super clean, super clean. And a lot of people didn't know this came out and I didn't see anyone post about it, but they also was released a foil. Foil number one. Not many people even mentioned that one. Don't know why. But, you know, everyone that knows me knows I love the boys. And I had to get them. Um, moving on from the boys, we got Department of Truth. I'm not 100% sure who did this cover. It took so freaking long to get it because I guess there was damages to the original printing. So everybody that ordered this had to wait like... I think it was like six months <laughs> to get it, but finally got it. And just, oh man, the, the artist absolutely destroyed this cover. I wish I could have got the Virgin, but they were sold out when I got it. And another Department of Truth. Uh, I believe this is Sam Fang or something his name is, but that is just one of those most sickest squatch card is just fuck that elk up and rip it to shreds. This shit is I don't even know how I did. But uh back to the boys. We got this right here. This one it's Dear Becky limited to 100. And I snagged that one. And then they also put it out. And it's Perillo that did this. 
They also put it out in color. And with his eyes glowing. When I saw that, I had to get it. Dude, Homelander is so sick. And this cover, you, you just can't beat it. Moving on to one of... I've been a fan of these guys for... 20-something years. And they released a comic book, and I got every single cover. But I want to show you this one, just because it's one of my favorites. And it's Trailer Park Boys. Get a fucking comic book. I mean, if you guys... If you're not a fan of the Trailer Park Boys, we can't be friends. I, I, I just... I, I school... Foo and all those guys every day on Canada knowledge and I owe it all to the trailer park boys. <laughs> Alright, now number seven here. My boy Gary released Dinosaurs vs. Mars Bots 97 and then he also did this distressed exclusive cover that was like limited to like 33 people or 33 covers and I I snagged a bunch of them you know me I'm gonna make some room for the next ones and now now I've gotten this cover slabbed I got it raw, I got it not chromium, this is chromium. Uh, but Fu recently sent me this in an Xmas AOK, -okay. and it's a 1 in 35, signed by Charlie Adlar. Never been opened, and it's good COA. And it's my most favorite cover, and to have number one of 1 in 35, I mean, come on. One in 35 of these signed by him, and then you got it. That's just. I don't even know. But pay attention to this because our final, final book in the top 10 that came out 2021 is my very own comic book, Squatching the Fool. And this is. The cover A. Now, like I said before, when I was talking about uh, mainly cartoon artists, this is a collection of comic strips. So there's 50 strips in here, and this is volume one. And I ended up doing two uh, limited print covers in homage to, I believe it's Wolverine number eight. Or Hulk number eight. I think it's Wolverine. <clears throat> this information I should know, right? But cover C is a combination of all the characters who are people in the comic book community and they appear in the comic book in I did an homage to that Walking Dead cover. And I think I nailed it. I don't know, you 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 be the judge, but <clears throat> this is this is one of my favorite squatchy and food things I've ever drawn. And it's just it's awesome to have been able to publish it and have it it's available. I still have some of these available. Uh but once they're sold, they're sold. They're done. Uh, they won't be sold again. But yeah, that's my top 10, 2021. Appreciate you guys watching. Stay tuned. I'm going to be dropping a lot more time-lapse videos of sketch covers I've been working on. And I've got some more videos planned. This is just the start of what I'm going to be posting. But appreciate you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Keep it squashed. Oh,